want to thank you all for coming out on this hot July day to listen to my speech about the Lupus Foundation of Indiana. And to tell you about the foundation, I feel like I need to explain lupus. It, lupus is basically when your body becomes allergic to yourself and they're not sure why it happens. Um, basically, your body be, overreacts to some unknown stimulus and uh, makes antibodies against yourself. So you're basically allergic to yourself and it's trying to kill your kidneys and your lungs and your muscles. It's the opposite of what cancer and HIV does and the symptoms come between ages of 15 and 44. 15% 15 of people are diagnosed later in life, which is what happened to me. I was diagnosed at 44. Everyone is between 15 and 33% chance of getting lupus. If you're, it's hereditary. So if your parent has it, you have a 5% more chance than anybody else of getting it. The reason the Lupus Foundation is so important is because most people, including some medical professionals, don't even know what lupus is. When you're diagnosed, they come in and say, you have lupus, and that's all they tell you. There's no information. The Lupus Foundation su provides support groups, and there are seven total support groups in Indiana, which is kind of weird that there's only seven. They range from Fort Wayne to Bloomington. Bloomington is the furthest south. They also provide a teleconference support group that you can do on the phone. So if there's not one in your area, you can do it. Or you can, if you're sick, you can teleconference it. So that's kind of cool. They also run the National Center for Lupus, which is an online thing. If you don't know what lupus is, there are videos, multimedia programs. Um, they have referrals for rheumatologists that they recommend. You can go on the National Center for Lupus and see a video on what to ask the doctor. What is lupus? How do you handle lupus? How do you explain it to people? They have asked the ex experts on there and every month there's a different expert in lupus that you can go in and watch that and have questions answered. They have the National Lupus Info Line, which is 1-888-NO-LUPUS that you can call and ask questions. It would be good for like a spouse who maybe didn't know what lupus was, didn't know what their spouse was going through and they could call and get answers to questions they had that they maybe didn't want their spouse to know. They have something that's kind of cool called Lupus Connect, which is kind of like Facebook for lupus patients. And the only people on there are um, lupus patients and their families and they, it's just kind of a way to get support from people all over the country. The Lupus Foundation of Indiana only has four employees. It is run totally on donations. So fundraising is the major way that they raise awareness and get their funds. Their major fundraiser is the Walk to End Lupus and it takes place downtown Indianapolis. There's usually about a thousand crazy people in purple wearing capes and purple hair and purple tutus and people were walking around downtown and people were like, why are these crazy people wearing purple? And then we get to explain to them what there's lupus. There's usually some kind of crazy band. They also host the Tasteful Affair, which you can go downtown, dress up, and have a nice dinner. There's an auction, and they speak about lupus. They have the faces of lupus. <sighs> faces of lupus, where people... <laughs> I just lost it. What is it where people wear clothes? Modeling show. That's part of lupus. You lose your train of thought. You lose your mind. Forget what things are called. And the lupus, it's all lupus patients. They're dressed up. You get to see them. They come in all their scars because some people with lupus have scars on their faces. They have sores and they come and they get to do that. The reason why education of lupus is so important is you guys need to know about it so that maybe you would want to go volunteer, maybe you would want to do the walk, help educate people, help get resources out there so more people know about it. That's what the Lupus Foundation needs mainly is volunteers and people willing to help. 
So if you have any questions or you want to help, just let me know.